Hi guys. Today, uh, I'm going to bring up a man, two men in fact, but one one famous celebrity. Uh, uh, I've spoken on him in the past. Uh, this is, of course, Bill Maher. Bill Maher, host of HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher. Now, uh, for those that regu that regularly watch Bill's show, it's apparent that uh, he has a certain bigotry against uh, fat people. That uh, he... Uh, that he kind of demonizes fat people, that he puts them down, he thinks that they are lesser human beings. Uh, in truth, Bill Maher, he's not just a bigot against fat people. He's a bigot against Muslims. He's a bigot against African Americans. And uh, you can see from watching the show Real Time with Bill Maher that he's Islamophobic. You can see from an incident that happened, uh, er, I think in the summer, with uh, he said an explicit uh, racial uh, epithet or racial slur on his show that uh, Bill Maher is indeed racist against African Americans. Also, uh, He's probably racist against Latinos, too. Of course, he he doesn't... He doesn't put himself out there straight across in public and wear that as his public face, if you will. He's, he's kind of like a... Uh, sorry, I got allergies. I'm kind of sniffling here. He's kind of got a inherent bigotry... Every once in a while, Bill Maher's bigotry and Bill Maher's, uh, his bigotry, his uh, viciousness, his hatred, his, his inner hatred, uh, it, it comes to the surface on a show. Every, every once in a while, if you notice it, because I've watched his show for about 10 years now. Uh, I, have, I have HBO in, in Canada. It's called HBO Canada. But if, if you've watched uh, Bill Maher in the past... You, you'll notice how his hatred of Muslims, his bigoted hatred of Muslims comes out, his hatred of African Americans, uh, his hatred of Latinos, his hatred of people with mental illness, his hatred of uh, gays and lesbians, his hatred of transgendered people. Of course, he pretends that he's a progressive liberal with a progressive liberal agenda. He pretends this. Bill pretends this. Is he puts the, the fake kind of mask or facade on that he is a progressive liberal, when in fact he's he's not a white supremacist, but he's a very hateful, bigoted man. I admire him because he's intelligent, but, but he's a very, very hateful, spiteful, bigoted man. Very wealthy, uh, very, very wealthy, very privileged. Uh, from what I've read online... He, he apparently, he kind of downplays that, uh, the fact that he, he kind of says, oh, I came from this humble beginnings in New Jersey or something like that, from a small town in New Jersey. That's true. He came from a small town in New Jersey, but he did not come from humble beginnings. Uh, Bill Maher actually, uh, believe he came from what you would call an upper middle class family. Not wealthy, but upper middle class he had family members uh, that were uh, famous in uh, in either Hollywood or the New York uh, the New York Broadway scene. He had he had celebrities in his family. His aunt or his uncle was a, a big celebrity, so he already had ties to uh, to uh, to the entertainment business. So when when Bill Maher tries to come across, I was his all American. Blue collar working class boy. That's not true. He's just, he's he's BSing you guys. He's came from upper middle class, uh, small, all white, rich town, which is true. When he says that, uh, oh, I didn't 
I didn't know what a black person was until I was seven years old. That's true because you grew up in this all all white, uh, rich town in New New uh, Jersey there. Uh, but uh, he's he didn't come from humble beginnings at all. He came from what I would call the upper middle class in America, and he and he had family members. If I can find it, I will put it in the in the description box below the video of which of his family members were major celebrities either in New York City or in Los Angeles, but he had that connection. It was revealed in an investigative uh, interview with him, and it, uh, I think it could have been in the Atlantic magazine or the New, or, uh, New York magazine, one of those. I, I'll put all the information in, the, in, the, in the, 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 the description box, but Bill Maher did not come from humble beginnings. This is what I'm trying to say. He always plays it. He always tries to play it, play the, I'm, I'm Mr., you know, I'm, I'm from the heartland of America. He came from like a, like a smaller, you'd call it kind of a, a, a all-white bedroom community, rich, upper-middle-class suburb. Maybe not millionaires, but people who were upper-middle-class. And an all-white small town in uh, New Jersey there. And that's why he says he didn't, until he got older, six or seven years old, he didn't see a black or Latino or oriental person or gay person because he was came from such a privileged community himself and he never had any real struggles himself. He, I think, I, I believe, I will put this in the description box, I think he actually did go to an Ivy League university. I think it's Cornell. And I think Cornell is an Ivy League university. So, and he also he also says that oh I wasn't I wasn't a good student I uh, I wasn't a good student. So I wonder how he uh, paid his way through Cornell University, which is an Ivy League Ivy League American university. My guess would be that his family paid for him, and I, I and he'll say stuff like oh uh, I sold pot. To pay for all my uh, textbooks and all my tuition and my dorm or whatever, which is BS. He had a rich family, like I like I was talking about. So don't don't let Bill Maher kind of fool you that he's kind of this blue collar, salt of the earth, all American boy. Obviously, if you know anything about Bill Maher and he's made a movie religious, he's bigoted against Christians, Muslims, Jews, basically all people. Of faith, especially Muslims, especially Muslims. He and that ties into racism as well. He uh, he's a very very vi. I, I just can't abide by his. Uh, I'm not Muslim myself. I'm Christian, but I just can't b abide by his white man's burden, Rudyard Kipling atheist kind of neo atheist kind of Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris kind of stuff. His his, his elitism and his I won't even. I, I, I don't even believe in what you'd call white privilege. So this is this is kind of like the. He's a scion of upper middle class privilege in northeastern United States. So uh, he never was not going to be a failure. He chose a career in comedy and entertainment. That was a risk. He could have been anything he wanted. He went to an Ivy League university. And, uh, so like I said, Bill Maher, racist, homophobe, transphobe, Islamophobe, uh, he's bigoted against people of other religions, he hates fat people, as I'm going to touch on more soon, he's very bigoted against people with mental illness, he's sexist, he's misogynistic, he... Fairly bigoted against gays and lesbians. This all comes through if you, because I've watched ten years. Even if I haven't been able to uh, see it live every time his show comes on, it's on a Friday night. Uh, I've I've watched back episodes of it, and and his bigotry comes right through. In, in that ten years of me watching his show, his bigotry comes right through. You can see all all the bigotry I accuse him of is you can any 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 person who's with it's you don't have to be left wing you don't have to be right wing you don't have to be a centrist politically his bigotry is so evident after 
watching the movie Religious, as I mentioned, the, the his kind of comedy documentary film, and after watching 10 years of his show, so every show that he made in the last 10 years, he is, uh, he, he's a bigot. Bill Maher is a bigot, and, uh, and, uh, what I'm going to touch on now is that he, Bill Maher is especially big, bigoted against fat people. Now, a lot of you will say it's not as bad as being racist or, you know, uh, bigoted against uh, the LGBTQ community or being bigoted against uh, Muslims. That may be true. What Bill Maher would think is, oh, if someone's fat then, you know, they can change that about themselves. Just like, I guess, how he's bigoted against religious people, he would say, oh, if someone is religious, well, they should engage with reality, or, and, you know, and, and, and leave religion behind, and follow, or, sorry, follow secular, secular uh, humanism. Which, basically, all, all of this is, it's what he doesn't say. But what he alludes to over the 10 years, over the documentary Religious, he is a piece of garbage, Bill Maher. And it hurts me because he's supposed to be a liberal advocate. He's supposed to be a liberal TV presenter. He's supposed to be on my side. I, I'm on H Welfare Disability in Alberta, Canada. I, I'm a progressive liberal, a real progressive liberal, not like Bill. So, it, it kind of rubs me the wrong way, especially because he's supposed to be an advocate for people like me, for the lesser, you know, the bottom 10% of wage earners in society, the poor people. He's supposed to be an advocate for that, but really he's a, he's a hypocrite. He says, oh, I, you know, I, I wanted Bernie, but I'll settle for, Hil settle for Hillary Clinton when the last American uh, federal election was going on. Well... In truth, I don't think he's that different from Donald Trump. He may, in public, be a nicer guy, like when he's on his show. He, be, he may be nicer than Donald Trump. Of course, he's not. he doesn't have the position of power. He's not the president of the United States of America. He's not the most powerful man in the world. But he's like Trump in more ways than one would think. As I've mentioned, he has all these... He's has all the this inner inner hatred against various groups of people, as I've mentioned. And I, I, I'm not even going to give specific incidents that have happened on his show. There's so many, if you look on YouTube, be it with bigotry against Muslims, bigotry against uh, gays, lesbians, transgender, uh, racism. I, I kind of... There was one where Ice Cube, uh, he, he dropped... Uh, a racial slur against African Americans, uh, and he thought, and he said it was part of a joke. Or the comedic mind goes strange places when you're a professional comedian or whatever. But no, he's just in his subconscious, and I think you know overall, just in in the fiber of his soul, if you will, that he, that he is a racist, privileged uh, white kid from a rich background, and now is he, you know, worth like, I'm going to say 35 million American, I will put what, I'll put the link of how much he's worth according to sources on the internet, accurate sources, but he's so rich that he doesn't even have to worry about, he's not married, doesn't have any kids, he doesn't even have to worry about uh, anything really, he's so He's so entrenched in show business and so successful in it that 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 he's he, he's really achieved in you know I'm, I'm, I'm he's achieved everything he's set out to achieve. He's already reached his peak years ago. Back back you know when his uh, show I think it was on ABC politically incorrect with Bill Maher got canceled. That's when he reached his political and, uh, as a, as, as a left-wing comedic pundit, that's when he reached his peak and 
two thousand one when he critic when he shot back after nine eleven happened and he said, well, to be he said something about like in truth, you know, um, the American military has been bombing and raiding third world countries all over the world for for decades since the end of World War Two, and I think that event I'll, I'll put more information there, but in the description box, I think that got him fired from ABC, and that's why he had to move to HBO. But he's he's changed since then. Uh, he's become even... He was less bigoted back then. I, I was very... I was in junior high back then. But but since 2007, when I started watching him, it, it it's clear that Bill Maher is, is just a bigot. It's clear. I've mentioned all the groups. There's even more I've left out. In every conceivable way, conceivable way, he's a bigot against those who are not as. So I don't like to use the word. I won't use the term privilege. To those who are not as wealthy or as rich as him, those who don't meet his expectations, be that in well, be that of how wealthy the the person is, how they physically look, how they dress, how they act. Like if, like if, like if he thinks probably if someone acts boring, that they're a bad person just because they, they they're not a comedian or they're not a celebrity, and probably he I, I'm assuming, I'm gonna guess that he it, him being a huge Hollywood celebrity that he doesn't treat uh, service industry workers at restaurants or cafes or hotels that nicely or. I'm just going to guess based on how he is, how I've viewed him over the last 10 years, that he's not the most generous man, and he's a dick. To anybody from airline, uh, flight attendants to uh, hotel uh, maintenance workers to hotel, uh, to, uh, hotel uh, chambermaids to uh, people who make him an organic smoothie to his housekeepers to... Lots of people, right? And uh, the people who make him something at Chipotle or some organic coffee house or sandwich shop, I'm, I'm going to assume that he's a dick, that, that, that he probably tips like five cents, an American uh, nickel. That he's just, he's, just a, he's just a fucking dick. That's what I'm going to assume. Cause, cause if I was as rich as Bill, like, like I, I wouldn't act like he acts. He's, he's, a, he's a fucking dick. And, and, and at one point... Like I said, it makes me sad because at one point I almost used to look up to him. And saying me saying that as a Canadian, I'm in the bottom probably let five percent of Canadian wage earners. I used to look up to the guy. I used to look up to Bill Maher, but he's been a big letdown to me uh, with all his various uh, hatred and bigotries. Bigotry, sorry. Uh, but now I want to focus on this. I mentioned that he's Mar Bill Mar is a bigot against fat people, and uh, most recently this came out came out uh, almost a month ago, three weeks a month ago. Now I'm no supporter of the Republican Party in the states. I'm not an American, of course. But if I was an American, I would not be a Republican. But he took aim at. Uh, a politician named Sam Clovis. Uh, I don't know a lot about Sam Clovis. I'm, I'm not American. I'm not a supporter of the Republican Party or Donald Trump. But he took aim at Sam Clovis in a personal attack. And yes, he is freedom of speech. He has comedic license. But but the, the, there's tact, diplomacy, and just being a nice person, especially when you're so rich and so successful like Bill is. And he's a smart guy. He is a smart guy. He really, he really acted like a dick towards Sam Clovis. I'm not saying Sam Clovis is perfect. Far from it. Sam Clovis is a bigger guy like me. And uh, that piece of garbage, and, and, and I will call Bill Maher a piece of garbage now because he's let me down so many times over and over with his various bigotry against so many different groups in, in the world and society that I'm just going to throw it out there that I, I almost view him as a piece of garbage now. He's not an ally of, you know, poor people or uh, oppressed people on on the earth, on the planet. He's super rich, 1%, less richer than that, 0. I don't know, like 
he's worth $35 million. That's how fucking rich he is. So, uh, he, uh, I, he sure can identify with someone like me. I know he's claimed that in the past when he went to Cornell or when he was trying to make it as a comedian that he was kind of like poor or living on the fringes of society in New York City or Los Angeles or something. But I see that as bullshit because uh, Bill in his career, uh, he has a long career even as an actor. He's possibly dating back to the 70s. He's been in all sorts of uh, movies and guest roles. He's been in uh, comedy B-movies. He's been in uh, movies like DC Cab. He's been in the movie Rat Boy. He's been, he's been in a lot of different movies. He's made money. He's made a full-time, more than a generous full-time living for almost 40 years off of comedy. Also, stand-up comedy, of course, and clubs. Comedy clubs. So he has nothing really to fucking whine about. He, uh... So back to Sam Clovis. Now he, he attacked Sam Clovis purely on the way Sam Clovis physically looks. Yes, Sam Clovis, like me, is a bigger guy. But he attacked him purely on, on, on his physical appearance. Not, not, not Sam Clovis' uh, policy. I believe Sam Clovis wanted to become the agriculture secretary of United of the United States federal government, but uh, he uh, withdrew his application. I'll put all the relevant links and information down below the video. But that that tells you what kind of man Bill Maher is. That he he would attack. I know he's a comedian, but that he would attack somebody just on how they physically look. Given given his success, given how good America, the capitalist system in America has been good to that fucking misshapen nose motherfucker. Uh, it, it's kind of sad to see that how, how he bashed a fat man like Sam Clovis. I'm, I'm sure... I, in fact, I know he, he's, he's, he, he's into... He's into some medical quackery, too. I think he's an anti-vaccine uh, guy. I'm not saying I'm pro-vaccine, but... If he wants to play this rationalist, atheist kind of game and say that he's Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Logical, Mr. Uh, White Man's Burden, Mr. Skeptical, like like Richard Dawkins, Jared Diamond, Sam Harris, Michael Shermer, then then he, he can't be anti-vaccine or he can't be say all oh, all the all this ma you know, food and mainstream grocery stores like Piggly Wiggly or Walmart or whatever, Sam's Club or Costco is poisonous. Because I should also mention he's a, he's a, he's a crazed health nut, this, this fucking guy, Bill Maher. He fucking... He's, I don't think he's a vegan or a vegetarian, but fuck, the guy... From what I've read, he, he, he eats... Like, he's obviously not the most athletic guy, not the most physically imposing guy. He eats, like, all organic produce and yogurt and uh, dairy. And when he has meat, I think he eats not that much meat. He uh, gets it from organic sources. So he's getting, like, boutique kind of grocery ingredients from, like, privately owns farms in the outside Los Angeles or something like that. He's so fucking rich, like I said. That, that uh, and I, I, on his show, he'll say something like, oh yeah, I used to be poor. And I know that when you're poor, poor people can't afford anything, so they have to eat crap. Well, fuck you, Bill. You know, fuck you. You're not poor anymore. Uh, which comes back to, to uh, insulting Sam Clovis. You know, in a way, I'll admit it. Sam Clovis kind of reminds me of an older version of myself physically, the way he looks, the way Sam Clovis looks. So, like, it'll never, it's never going to happen. If, if I ever was a, if, if, if I ever was a guest on Bill Maher's show, if I ever was a guest on his show, I, I would fuck with him. Like, I would, I would call him out like, uh, 
one person who I greatly respect that did that on his show is Rula Jibril, called him out. Uh, and so did Ben Affleck, the famous Hollywood actor Ben Affleck. Uh, they really kind of fucked with him and called him out for his for the bigotry. This was relating to his, to his bigotry against Muslims. But uh, I, I respect the fact that Ben Affleck and Rula Jibril really called him out and fucked with him. And, I, and you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Ice Cube or Ice Cube's music. I'm a huge hip-hop fan. I'm not a big fan of NWA. I'm not a big fan of Ice Cube's solo career. My favorite West Coast rapper is Ras Cass. I, I mean, I'm, I'm nothing against Ice Cube's music, really. It's just not my favorite music. Even when it comes to West Coast gangster rappers, he's not one of my favorite. As I said, Ras, Ras Cass, Razzy Cassy, the legendary West Coast lyricist, is my favorite West Coast hip hop lyricist. But uh, I like also props to Ice Cube. Uh, how Ice Cube, uh, uh, on the episode after he uh, made the racial slur, uh, Ice Cube kind of was hard on him. Ice Cube said, you know, that, that the N word is like a knife. You know, it's a vicious word to say, it's a mean spirited, vile, vicious word, and you said it. Like it was nothing. And he also said that, you know, Bill Maher, sometimes you sound like a racist redneck truck driver, which is true. Ice Cube is right, because he does. To me, he comes across like that. I'm sure Ice Cube said that he watches his show often. I watch his show often. I'm no celebrity, and I'm, I, I, and I'm no, uh, no, I'm not an educated man. I just have a high school education. But I agree with Ice Cube that he comes across not too far apart from kind of a bigoted white supremacist Trump supporter. And Bill Maher, all Bill Maher, a lot, or a lot of what he just criticizes all these Fox News viewers, these Trump supporters, these white supremacists. But in truth, Bill Maher has become that in a lot of ways. And, and, and when he disses Sam Clovis, what right, you know, you know, you know, does he have to diss a fat man? What right does he have to diss a fat man like Sam Clovis? If it was a weightlifting contest of any type, or a mixed martial arts match, Sam Clovis would crush Bill Maher like, like an African bull elephant would crush an ant. And I think that's apparent. Uh, you know, uh, Bill Mars is little, you know, smart aleck, fucking little shrimp, short, skinny, weed fucking guy that probably couldn't. He probably he he probably get beat up in a fight by Louis Anderson severely. So like, that's his fighting level. That's his level of toughness, of his street credibility. Louis Anderson would probably rear naked choke the guy unconscious or knock him out within like 10 seconds. That, that's Bill Maher's level of toughness and uh, credibility when it comes to being a so-called tough guy, whether it be in fighting or weightlifting or any trope that relates to being tough. Any martial art any combat sport, any discipline of any strength sport. So he's, he, he, he's the, uh, as Ice Cube alluded to, the as they say, the hood, as Ice Cube said, or alluded to, doesn't fuck with Bill Maher. Lord Jamar, I believe, Lord Jamar uh, of the great hip-hop group Brand Nubian, said on DJ Vlad's channel that, uh, that, you know what, Vlad, uh, I don't think there's a lot of white, or sorry, D Lord Jamar said to DJ Vlad in a DJ Vlad interview on DJ Vlad's YouTube channel, you know what, Vlad, I don't think there's a lot of, uh, black or Latino people in, uh, Bill Maher's audience. And Lord Jamar's absolutely correct, there aren't. His audience is probably, is almost exclusively white, college-educated, Hips, either 
the younger part would be like 35 to 40 ish from what I've seen in the studio audience over the years so it's all people 35 and over mostly 40 and over so you get the aging hipsters at, at the youngest and then you get the self smug, smug self satisfied kind of fucking uh, liber neoliberal I, want, I don't want to say it's, it's over. It's to, it's generalizing to say university professor type or rich white collar worker type, I guess. Middle at, at the lowest middle class, but upper middle class white collar worker suburban because because it shows shot in a Los Angeles area type that would go to that would go to his studio audience or you might get some rich people from Australia or Canada or New Zealand or Europe Western Europe go there England Ireland UK but uh, or you might possibly get some for foreign uh, visitors to his audience you might get some they're gonna be rich the people that would fuck with and when I say fuck is with, it's kind of a a bit of a, it, it means people that would vibe or be fans of Bill Maher. So people that would fuck with Bill Maher's show usually aren't people like me. They're, they, they're what you'd call upper middle class white collar kind of people who have a good income, have good jobs, have good own, own property, own cars, never have to worry about where the next meal is coming from, never have to worry about a paycheck. That's Bill Maher's core audience, and it's in, and within the United States, it's almost, like Lord Jamar Brown Nubian said in that DJ Vlad interview, it's almost 99.9999999% you know, white his audience and uh, he, he does have a, he does have a diverse he, he has diverse uh, a, a diver, a, like, like a diverse range of people on his of all backgrounds on his panel but but often the people he, when they have when he has them on his panel when Bill Maher has them on his panel they kind of you know kowtow and kind of become meek and don't really criticize him even if they disagree with his bigotry, the bit, the exceptions I've seen, as I've said, Ben Affleck, Rula Jabril, and Ice Cube have called him out on his bullshit before. I'll, I'll, again, I'll put all this information below the video and uh, and as information, Wikipedia links or links to other websites. But in the last ten years, the people who have called him out have been as guests on his show have been. Ben Affleck, Rula Jabril, and Ice Cube. Uh, back to Sam Clovis, though, because that's what that's what bugged me. That's the latest thing he's done that's bugged me personally, on a personal level. His bigotry against fat people. A man that looks like Bill Maher, a little scrawny fucking weed like him, has no right to uh, criticize a guy that looks like Sam Clovis. A fat man seeks his destiny and his destiny alone or sh I should say fat person so so what right does this little scrawny fucker Bill Maher this little fucking weed have to criticize a guy that looks like Sam Clovis you know you know fuck Bill you know fuck him I used to look up to the guy when I was maybe 18 fuck Bill Maher he wants to, he wants to, he wants to diss Sam Clovis on his weight. Fuck him, you know. Like uh, I, I, I still watch his show, but I see through him now. And, and this latest thing of Sam Clovis, you know, dissing Sam Clovis on on his weight, on his physical appearance. When Sam Clovis, you know, he he'll you know, it's another guy. Who's fat? Who he disses is Chris Christie, and I'm don't know a lot about Chris Christie's politics other than he's a right winger and he's a Republican and he's good friends with Donald Trump and I would never support him politically, but uh, 
I don't like him ragging on Chris Christie's weight either. Because you'll see how Bill Maher's a damn hypocrite. And I'll point it out. And he's a, and he's a f the fucking coward. He'll criticize Chris Christie's weight. The fat man Chris Christie. The fat man uh, Sammy Clovis. But, but when he has, say, uh, Rob Reiner on his show, or Killer Mike, the rapper Killer Mike, who's a member of one half of the duo hip-hop, alternative, hipster, hop duo. I'm not, Killer Mike, I, you know, I'm not a big fan of his rap style. He's, he's a talented lyricist. but So Rob Reiner, Kill, Kill, Killer Mike, he has had on his show. He's had, uh, he's had some uh, female uh, panelists on his show who were, I would say, heavier in body weight than me. So I'm, I'm saying, like, over 350 pounds. He's had Bernie Sanders. She's got to be my weight. Bernie Sanders. Uh, and like I said, he off, he's had Rob Reiner on there. Rob Reiner's not Mr. Slim here. And he's had Killer Mike a few times on the show. Killer Mike is fucking... 400 pounds, man. I'm guessing. Just from looking at him when he's on... I, I, I don't watch interviews like uh, on YouTube or anything uh, or on any hip-hop website with Killer Mike because I'm not a fan of his uh, style of hip-hop music, but Killer Mike is a pretty fucking fat guy. I'm no knock on him. I'm just saying he's well fatter than me. And I, I, in, my, in my life and on my YouTube channel, I've been often dissed for being fat. Killer Mike, he's taller than me, but he's seems to, if I were to look at Killer Mike, he's a tall guy, I would say he's pushing 400, and I'm 323 pounds. Yet, you see, he won't diss Rob Reiner, who's probably like 290. He won't diss the 385, 390 pound Killer Mike on his show, because he's a coward. Bill Maher's a fucking coward. Because if he did, I'm, Rob Reiner wouldn't, you know, Rob Reiner's not like that. But if he, so let's say if he called Killer Mike, a fat fuck, or a fat slob. Killer Mike would beat the fucking shit out of Bill Maher. That's just how, how it would be. You know, like, uh, I don't think Killer Mike is that metaphorically soft that he would he would give him a pass if, if, he, if he, you know, if, he, if Bill Maher really fucking called him a fat fucking slob and a you know, a fat fuck and all this. If, if Bill Maher said that to Killer Mike, when Killer Mike is on his panel, Killer Mike would, I would hope, I know Killer Mike's not a tough guy rapper or a hardcore rapper or a, he doesn't have that persona. I would hope that Killer Mike would just slap the fucking taste out of his mouth. I would if I was ever on Bill Maher's show, like I said, but that's not going to happen. But, uh, you know, like, you know, he, he, uh, he disses Sammy Clovis, uh, Sam Clovis. He disses Chris Christie. And the only reason is because they're, they're right wing. Sure, I, I don't agree with their pol political views either. But you, you don't, you don't see him diss Killer Mike or Rob Reiner, who are also fat. Equally probably as fat as Sam. In fact, uh, let's say, Chris Christie, Sam Clovis, Killer Mike, Rob Reiner. The heaviest guy out of all those four guys in body weight is going to be Killer Mike of Run the Jewels. The guy's 385, 390, just by, I just looked at pictures of him on Google Images. So, what, so he disses Sam Clovis, who's maybe 360, 350, but he won't diss Killer Mike on being fat, who's, could be as heavy as 395. This shows you the kind of person Bill Maher is. He's a coward. He's a coward. And I'm sure if he had Chris Christie or Sam Clovis ever on his show, he might engage them in political discussion, but he wouldn't mention their weight at all. And one guy I forgot to mention who is not the slimmest either is a guy I look up to and a guy who I believe has not sold out as much as Bill Maher. And this is a fa famous liberal uh, TV presenter, film director, 
document documentary documentary maker <laughs> uh, and that would be uh, Michael Moore he's a guy who I still have respect for who hasn't let me down Michael Moore and Michael Moore's lost weight and if that's want so if that's what Michael Moore wants to do fine but Michael Moore is still about 265 pounds at least 250 and uh, I, I never see uh, Bill Maher uh, rag on, uh, harp on Michael Moore's weight when Michael Moore's on his show. Michael Moore is not a Mr. Slim either. So, so uh, he doesn't diss Killer Mike when he's on the panel. He doesn't diss Michael Moore. He doesn't diss. He doesn't diss Rob Reiner. But he's willing to diss Sam Clovis. Or Chris Christie. Basically, Bill Maher is a pussy. He, he, he's not willing to put up his fist in a fight. He's not willing to engage somebody in some kind of weightlifting contest. He's not willing to engage a person in a, in a rap battle. In a rap battle. And, uh, you know, to me, to me I, know, I know he's 61. Going to be 62 right away. To me, what does that say about him? The, the character of Bill Maher. He's supposed to be kind of the the mouthpiece for the press people. He says, oh, I, I, I love Elizabeth Warren. I support her. She She's my hero. But Elizabeth Warren is a kind person, a compassionate person. Bill Maher is not. He's a cynical fuck. He's a cynical fuck, unlike Elizabeth Warren, who seems like a very genuine lady. And, uh, you know, that doesn't sit well with me. All this, you know, this stuff about you know, his bigotry. And, you know, I, I, I can only speak because I'm not gay. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not transgendered. I'm not... African American. I'm not Latino. I'm not First Nations. I'm not, or Native. I'm not Oriental. I'm white. I'm Christian. But I'm fat. So that's what I can. That's that's. I, I've, I've spoken on my mental illness, my OCD and anxiety, and. But really, what gets to me with, I, with Bill Maher is his bigotry against fat people. Him dissing Sam Clovis. You know these disses to Sam. You know. The, f the funny thing is, I was end it like this. Funny thing is, I, like I said, I, I don't agree with Chris Christie's politics. I don't agree with Sam Clovis's politics. But so let's say in an MMA fight, in an amateur MMA fight, or even a pro MMA fight, if, if somehow it was allowed, or some kind of a weightlifting contest of any kind, Sam Clovis or Chris Christie would beat the fuck out of Bill Maher in an MMA fight, in any type of weightlifting contest. So, you know, it, that shows you that Bill Maher hides behind his money, hides behind his fake left kind of neoliberalism. But at the end of the day, he's the guy that should be ridiculed. Bill Maher is the guy that should be ridiculed here. And I'll end it on this note, actually. Uh, I remember one time there were some people, uh, conspiracy theorists, supporters. They were uh, conspiracy theorists that possibly thought that 9-11 was an inside job. This was over, this was probably 05, maybe. Maybe 06. Right before I, st I started watching the show, right maybe a year before I started watching uh, Real Time. On HBO, and uh, he had the some people in his audience engaged him, and they were conspiracy theorists. And as a hip hop fan, I'm a I'm a big fan of rappers that are conspiracy theorists. Ras Cass, who I've already mentioned, uh, Diabolic, Immortal Technique, K Reno, 
among others, you know, uh, even public enemy. And, and, uh, you know, like, you know, I, 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 I am a supporter of some conspiracy, what would be called by the skeptics, conspiracy theories. And I remember these people in the audience, you know, challenging Bill. And, and the first thing he, Bill does when he feels threatened, he goes, security, security, security. So, you know, that shows you what, what a pussy Bill Maher is. Security, I, I still remember him saying it. I, you can find the video on YouTube. So he won't engage someone on a physical level, yet he's ready to belittle people, to boost his own ego, to make him, himself feel important. So, uh, like I said, th th this... I've been critical about Bill Maher in the past, but this thing with Sam Clovis, he's gone too far. He, he's almost... He comes across as a very unlikable person. But bigotry against so many diff so many you know against so many different groups of people, as I've mentioned. So f basically, fuck Bill Maher. He has no right to uh, put down a fat man or a fat person. You know, fuck him. He, he's he, he's a uh, he's a great disappointment. Bill Maher is. Bill Maher is a great disappointment. Thank you, guys.